Okay, what's the emergency? Oh. Who? Oh, dummy. Some mob thugs said they'd come to take their cut. Said it was a Mr. Farello's money. Oh, I feel like crap. Farelli? Sonny Farelli? Yeah, that's the guy. I think. They were very Holy insistent. Pop. I'm not angry with you. Get him to the hospital. Tommy, rip that guy a new asshole for me. I'm gonna rip him too! Night of all, December of the soul. <laughs> Jess, this has been the best interview of, of my life. Thanks so much for coming on. For all you leftist fans out there, it's time for a contest. That's right, ladies and gents, you're listening to me. Jess Torrent of K-Chan being interviewed by... By... It's Amy. Oh, God. You forgot my name? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Citizens of Vice City. Now you've got the opportunity to win a part of me, my signature. Hey, I only give away parts of myself hey, yo, hey, yo, to people yo. who have bought all our records, so you've got to answer this. You killed Sonny! Stay away! Send her up my sword. Devil's own band. For the chance to win tons of love fist prizes, just answer the question. All you need to do is write the answer on a postcard and send it into the station. Jazz, before you go, will you please play us a song acoustic? Piss off! Acoustic songs are for sissies. Babe, seriously, do not cramp my style. Look, I've got to save up the love for the big show. Babe, I love you. I really do. Friends for life, dance into the fire and all that. Always good to me. You look after man for us, will you? Oh, I lost my lighter again. Love Fist! That was the Dreamy Jazz Torrent of Love Fist, who are appearing this week in Vice City as part of their world tour. Bring your lighters and a spare pair of panties. I know I will. We'll be right back on K-Chat after these messages. Thanks. What makes a real American? A cowboy hat, enjoying a fine T-bone steak, Going to a baseball game, shooting a gun. Maybe it's the freedom to go into a poor country and tell them how to do things. Heh, those are all great qualities. But one thing that makes a true patriot is the ability to choose an American car. When you buy an import, you take a hot meal off a hard-working American's table. There, there. This poor girl is going to starve to death just because you bought a cheaper, more efficient Maibatsu. Without gross symbols of excess, what will Americans have to look up to? Our great industries are threatened. Cars, pornography, armaments, and they need your help. So the next time you buy a car, a piece of adult literature, or a missile defense system, make sure you do the American thing. Oh, we go. is mine now! Can't let go. Max, you didn't need your... Max? When the unspeakable happens, just put your four-legged friend in the refrigerator or freezer. Then call Pet Stuffers. We'll be there within a week to pick him up, and in less than a month, we'll be back as good as new. Through an ancient Egyptian miracle process called taxidermy, you and your best friend will always be together. Yeah, that's a good dog. Pet Stuffers, when you just can't let go. And coming soon, grandparents forever. I am. The key to feeling great is looking great, and the way to look great is to have great hair. That's great. Take your hair higher. Take your hair to the limit. Look sissy spreads when you're clubbing or sticking your head out of a stretch limo sunroof. You want to know your hair is performing to the limit. With Sissy Spritz, it's hair for the future, not the past. When you have great hair, people know you're a winner. This is K-Chat. Welcome back to the show. I'm Amy Schechenhausen, and next up, 
We're going to be interviewing someone with a lot to say for herself. A woman who pretended to be a man and then wrote a book about it. I haven't read it, but I'm going to pretend I did. She's professor of anthrosociology and women's studies at the University of Vice City. And her name is Michaela Krapis. Krapitis. Michaela, Michaela, hi, welcome to K-Chat. Hello. Hi, so, Michaela, you're a teacher. If you mean professor, yes, I have a doctorate. Teachers are homely women who make minimum wage to keep the teenage boys off the streets during the day. Oh, 